Once upon a time, in fact, it was on a Tuesday, a bear stood at the edge of a great forest and gazed up at the sky. Away up high, he saw a flock of geese flying south. Then he gazed up at the trees of the forest. The leaves had all turned brown and russet and gold and were falling from the branches. The bear knew that when the geese flew south and the leaves fell from the trees, that winter would soon be here and snow would cover the forest. It was time to go into a cave and hibernate. And that's just what he did. The bear that wasn't, wasn't a bear at all. The bear that wasn't, wasn't a bear at all. long afterward. In fact, it was on a Wednesday. Sorry to hear you say that, because, uh, see, I am a bear. We'll just see what the third vice president has to say about that. Come in, come in. Let us review this. You say you're not a silly man who needs a shave and wears a fur coat. That's what you say. <sighs> That's true. I am a bear. Just a, a plain, ordinary, everyday bear. I see. And I'm going to take you to the plain, ordinary, everyday second vice president. Come in, come in, come in. You are not a bear. You are a silly man who needs a shave and wears a fur coat. Uh, obviously. Uh, I must be dreaming. How, <clears throat> sir, how, how can you say that when I'm a bear? I cannot only say it, sir, but I can say it to the first vice president. Come in, come in, come in, come in. 
You are not a bear. You are a silly man who needs a shave and perhaps a manicure. And you are wearing a fur coat. I've always been a bear. Come in, come in. Sir, I, I don't work here. I'm a bear. And, and please don't tell me I'm a silly man who wears a fur coat and needs a shave and, and like that, because the first vice president and the second vice president and the, the, uh, the third vice president, the general manager and the foreman have told me that already. Thank you for telling me. But that's just what I think you are. I'm a bear. You can't be a bear. Bears are only in a zoo or a circus. They're never inside a factory. And that's where you are, inside a factory. So how can you be a bear? I don't know. But I am a bear. You are a stubborn and silly man who needs a shave and wears a fur coat. And, and, and I'm going to prove it to you once and for all. I must be a bear. I haven't any practice being anything else. <laughs> He isn't a bear. Uh, uh, if he was a bear, he wouldn't be outside w with you, would he? I mean, uh, uh, he, he would be inside the cage here with us, right? Uh. I, I know what he is. He's a silly man who needs a shave and wears a fur coat. <laughs> The bear that wasn't, wasn't the bear. One day, a long time afterward, when the factory closed down for the night and the workers went home. a bear. And soon the bear was happily asleep and dreaming sweet, slow dreams, just like all bears do when they hibernate because he had finally realized that even though the foreman and the general manager and the third and the second and the first vice presidents, and yes, the president himself, and even the zoo bears, had said he was a silly man who needed a shave and wore a fur coat. Well, that didn't make it so. No, indeed, he wasn't a silly man. 
And he wasn't a silly bear, either. 